guys hope you're all well um i haven't done a q and a in ages and i um posted on instagram and in my facebook group of the day to um ask if anyone wanted to ask me anything and if they did i'd do a q and a and you guys said yes so q and a i'm such a nerd i i love filming these videos I think they're really fun and it's really cool that you guys want to ask me stuff so that's really cool so I'll crack on um, I'm going on to um, Instagram first uh, Mincy Swagger how did you get into crafting um I'm not really a crafter per se I don't um, I don't really craft I'm more of an art person and so I don't really have any cr much crafting stuff. Um, I kind of end up crafting a l I don't, in fact, no, I don't even really craft. Um, I dabble now and then, like I've tried knitting, um, which I can't really do anymore. Um, I've tried knitting and I tried sewing, awful at that. Um, and so yeah, I don't really do any crafting, mainly, mainly art. Uh, you guys may disagree you may look at some of my stuff and think it's craft but um i think it's more art i do sort of get a bit crafty in my planners and stuff um but yeah i just I don't know i don't know how i got into it really just kind of i've always been a creative person and just really enjoyed being creative getting creative but yeah i don't really know how to answer that one um 12 happiness how did you get creative to decorate pages how did you get creative to decorate pages i don't really know what that means does that mean how did i end up decorating my pages i don't really know what that means but um so um i don't always decorate my pages i have done quite a lot more recently um, just because I love using stickers and washi tape and just sort of doing creative things and looking at pretty stuff and I find it really relaxing to stick stickers down and washi tape down and stuff like that so that's probably kind of um, my doodles morphed into using stickers and stuff like that so that's probably how I got into it but yes um, Greet should I don't sorry I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, what's your favourite shop to buy planner stickers and deco? Well, it's quite hard where I live in the UK to get stuff, and I'm quite away from Paper Chase, and that's why I set up doing my own shop um, to be able to get more stickers and decorating things. And I have to genuinely say that now my shop is my favourite place to raid for decorative things because i only buy stuff for the shop that i like and feel passionate about um so that's my favorite if i'm not raiding shop stock then my other favorite place is paper chase i do love paper chase um and that's probably it i do buy stuff from daisy who is um my cloudy cow um and i do buy stickers sometimes from rachel uh, rachel of ellie beth designs and julie from pink hedgehog pretties um and some other sticker places when i find them um but i've got quite a few stickers at the moment so i'm not really buying any stickers i need to use up what i've got but yeah they're my places um 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 um, um. Twirl dance, how's your hand these days? Um, yeah, pretty good. Um, if you didn't know, I had a blender accident in um, August 2014, so a year and a bit ago now. Um, yeah, I had a blender accident and had to have an operation to put my hand back together again. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. You, I've, I've got more mobility now. I get more mobility all the time. I'm still not very good when it comes to like fine motor skills, not very dexterous. Uh, I can pretty much use it for most things. I struggle if something's really heavy that I need to grip. Um, and I struggle with like the finer details. I can't type. I can only type with my forefinger. 
Um, I can't feel the top of my forefinger and I can't feel most of my middle finger that I have no feeling in it. Um, but yeah, that's why I can't do quite a lot of motor things because I just don't have any feeling in it. But other than that, the hand's doing pretty good. Um, and I guess most of you, if you didn't know my history, if you haven't been watching my channel that long, you probably wouldn't have known because it doesn't look too bad. I just look a bit all um, fingers and thumbs sometimes. Um, Lily Wab, what advice would you give to someone wanting, wanting to get in the business? I'm not sure what business that is. If you mean selling stationery, maybe? I don't know. Um, then I, well, any business actually, I would say you need to do what you are passionate about, what you believe in, and stick to that. Um, I, although I still struggle with it, I have learnt that you can't please all the people all the time, and I find that hard to deal with sometimes. So you need to try and please yourself, and if other people you know and then your style will come through and then other people will like your style there's I think there's plenty of business out there for everyone because everyone's got a different style so I would try and say you need to stay true to you and try and find your niece or your niche or your uniqueness whatever that is and just stay true to who you are um, I don't always follow practice what I preach you know but um haters are gonna hate and they do affect me I'm not gonna lie um, but you just kind of have to find your way to get over it and just stay true to you and maintain your own integrity there we go maintain your own integrity is what I think. Uh, F Whitfield, you may not want to answer this as it's quite personal. Oh, and I would completely understand, but do your planners, artwork, and of course your Brimble's boxes make you a living? I ask this as I too am from the UK and have a slightly vested interest. Don't worry, I'm no threat to your work though. so sorry um so do my does my pla do my planners artwork and brimble's boxes make you a living okay let me break that down my planners do not make me a living um my planners help me to run my life my artwork yes and my brimble's boxes yes right okay let me say i work for myself from home which i have done since 2011 um was it 2011 yeah 2011 i've worked for myself from home for that amount of time and i am self-employed and a sole trader and i have many hats um so what you guys may or may not know if you've been following me for a while so i've washed my hair and it's like sticking to my head um, so what you guys may or may not know if you haven't been watching my videos for a while is that my my job um, when I gave up my full-time job in an office to work for myself I was a photographer and I specialized in boudoir photography which is um, fine art of ladies either nude only ladies um, either nude or in um, or scantily clad and that's what I used to do. I also used to do some commercial photography as well. And I also used to do some design work. Um, I did some design work for a magazine. And I used to work directly with some small businesses to create logos and stuff like that. Um, so that's what I started doing. And um, then I got ill. And I was really poorly and I had some time in hospital and um, when I came out of hospital I spent a lot of time watching YouTube so I ended up um, as a thing to as a, as a road for recovery I've talked about this in videos before but I realize that some of you are new so may not know this that um, I then started making videos as a way to kind of give back for videos that I watched 
and then I made more videos and then as I say like it got to the point where like I was struggling to find stickers and planning stuff and creative stuff that I wanted and I ended up designing some of my own in printable inserts and then a friend pushed me to put them up for sale because I never thought anyone would want to buy my inserts so a friend pushed me to put them up for sale and then I got another push from a friend to sell my dashboards and then it kind of went from there like I started selling my dashboards and then bought in stickers and other supplies for planners and journals and stuff and it kind of grew and so I do a lot of things I still not as much as I used to I still do some photography and some design work as well so my income comes from a variety of places not just from one thing and that's what keeps me happy is that variety and and stuff and I take on other work like for the photography work and the design work as and when I want to or can or need to um, and in terms of the boxes and everything else everything is seasonal um, so like January, February are always quiet months because people are skint from Christmas and the summer is quiet because people are away or they're spending their money on holidays or entertaining the children and, and so things go up and down so I get my income from various different things that I do um, all over the place really so do I make my income solely from the Brimbles boxes? No, I don't. Um, people don't like talking about money I know that um, but I don't really mind I will be honest with you guys that you know I've been doing the Brimbles shop since let me think the Brimbles shop has been going since 2013 um, and it takes time to build anything up um, and obviously it depends on your bills and stuff as to how much money you want to make as well and to find a living because some people only need a hundred pounds some people need a thousand pounds a month so it all depends on your on your living um but, but yeah i hope that's kind of answered um yeah I don't even really know what else to say it's really awkward talking about money isn't it but yes and no yes some months okay let me go so some months yes I do make my living that way some months I do need to do a little bit of extra work here and there to make it up I hope that makes sense we are also trying to decorate and do stuff around the house so um that all costs money um Mrs. Savannah Teague, my, hello, my question is, have you ever thought about working with someone in the States on doing a collaboration box? No, I've never thought about it, but that sounds interesting. I don't really know what that means, um, but it does sound interesting. So if you want to chat to me, that would be cool. Little Marie Antoinette, what items would you bring with you if you were going on an extended holiday, two weeks, and wanted to journal scrapbook about your trip while you're there. My usual stuff. <laughs> um, I always take the actual journal itself. I always take scissors. I always take a glue stick because I tend to stick ephemera and receipts and stuff down from holidays anyway. Always take my favourite pen. Um, I always take a pencil, always take a rubber. Um, and then I usually take some washi tape just on some washi on the go cards um, and that's it and then um, I will probably take in fact I usually do take my watercolour set and my Pentel aqua brush and that's it I travel light I travel light um, mainly because we usually go camping and <laughs> there's not much space but yeah I travel light when I go away um, because when I'm away I don't always get that much time because I you know we're busy doing stuff and also I like to read as well so yeah that's what I take that's what I take just the basics essentials really um 
Petty Mute, you design a lot of products. Did you study art at any level, GCSE, A level, etc.? Yeah, well, yes and no. <laughs> um, I was at school, <laughs> believe it or not, at school I was discouraged from taking GCSE art because I was basically told that my art wasn't good enough. Um, which is a terrible thing to say to a child who wants to have a creative career or just want to do art. Um, yeah, I was told that, you know, basically no. And that was because I was creating the sort of art that I still create now. Um, but school wanted me to do like still life of bowls of fruit and flowers. And I hated it. And I was rubbish at it and I hated it. Um, yeah, so I wasn't encouraged, so no, which meant that I didn't do A-levels or any kind of college course. Um, it wasn't until a bit later on in life that I went back to college and I did art and design at college, which then, um, and then later on I did a photography degree, which also did more, um, like Photoshop skills and stuff. I don't use Illustrator. I'd really like to learn how to use Illustrator. All of my stuff is hand drawn and then photographed and then edited in Photoshop. So, yeah. I would have liked to have done it. Maybe I'll go back and do it one day. Um, but yeah, I did a so I did a diploma a diploma in art and design at Cambridge Regional College and as a mature student like i.e not when you left school and i really enjoyed it um I wreck this girl is there a part of your crafting planning creative process that you don't enjoy or enjoy or enjoy less than others tidying up my desk i hate tidying up my desk but usually i have to tidy up my desk before i can do any crafting because i haven't tidied up or like creating because i haven't tidied up my desk since the last time i did it and it's just a vicious cycle because i'm then like oh i want to do stuff but my desk is just a mess and it goes round and round and round i need to tidy up my desk at the moment because i'm just looking at it and it's like oh my god it's horrendous um but other than that is there a thing i um enjoy less no not really i like the whole process uh married to soccer cruise will you be seeing your parents around christmas time i really enjoy your vlogs thank you for sharing with us okay will i be seeing my parents around christmas time probably not um no um i if i can squeeze it in I may go and see them before Christmas. I'm not sure. Battery just cut out on me and I can't remember where I was. But basically, I just... Okay, so when I came to edit this, I realised that far more was cut out than I first realised. What I was saying is that uh, with my parents, they're really happy over there and they're really busy. They're into lots of clubs and stuff like that. And I'm happy over here. And because, like, and we Skype several times a week, at least once a week, usually two or three. And... I'm really happy that they're really happy and so I don't feel like a burning need to go and see them obviously I'd like to go and see them because they're my parents but um yeah there's kind of like like John and I haven't really been on a holiday this year there's been like his work stuff's been busy and life's just been busy and there's been other things going on um but yeah hopefully I'll see them more next year um but yeah all's good all is good on that front um yeah also i missed out a couple of questions and i can't remember what they were but i will come back again and i, I was talking about um the whole because someone was asking about if i would vlog while i was there in italy and vlogging about um around christmas for vlogmas basically what i was saying is that towards the end of vlogtober i had a few um issues with some nasty comments and maybe some sort of stuff that I really wasn't very happy and comfortable with on my day in the life type videos that up really upset me and that's kind of why I fizzled out I mean the thing with vlogtober is it was always going to be ish because some of you love my vlogs and some of you the day in the life vlogs and some of you hated them and I wanted to kind of 
um mix up my regular content with it which is totally fine but as I said I kind of started to get some really mean and horrible comments which kind of upset me and affected me and the way I feel right now at this current moment in time I never want to do another day in the life video again um, because YouTube is my hobby I've said this before I'm not a professional YouTuber um, you know I just fit in doing YouTube videos as and when I can and stuff and um, yeah, so at this, this moment in time, no, I won't be doing Vlogmas. Give me a month, I may change my mind, or I may do an, like a Vlogmas-ish in the same way that I did Vlogtober. So, who knows, um, obviously, if I do a vlog, you'll know about it, because it will appear. If not, that's kind of why. Just need some time to heal. To heal and, yeah. And then I probably will do some again. We'll see. We will see. Um, I'm not going to do anything if I don't enjoy doing it. Um, anyway, that's getting really depressing. Let's move on. Uh, Miss Marshmeadow, what are five stationary items you can't live without? Pen, pencil, eraser, notebook. Scissors. I'm always cutting stuff. Oh, glue. Oh. Yeah, I would have to call it that. And she also asks, what advice would you give to teens wanting to start planning? Tap your parents up for loads of cash. I don't know. Teens. I don't know. I don't think any advice to teens would be different to any advice I give you guys. And my advice to you guys is you don't have to buy everything straight away. And you don't have to buy expensive stuff. You don't need stuff to be creative or plan. A lot of us love a bit of retail therapy. Myself included. And we love stuff. But I think a lot of people have too much stuff. And stuff can bog you down. Um, you don't need stuff to be a creative person or to plan. All you need is a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen. Um, so especially if you're new to planning, don't feel that you've got to have loads and loads of planners. The only reason I've got loads of planners, mainly, is because I'm on the Webster's Pages Colour Crush Design Team and they send me planners. Other than that, I'd only have a few. I, you know what I mean it's kind of like and people buy them for me as presents like when it's my birthday and stuff because they know I'd like them so don't feel that you've got to buy stuff because you haven't either save up and buy a planner that you know or ask for it for your birthday that you know you're really going to want and you're coveting or just buy a cheapo something or other from your supermarket and just go with it until you decide whether you like it start small don't spend loads of money, just have fun with it. And yeah, that's advice that I would give to anyone. And that's it for Instagram. And there's some on Facebook. So I need to find um, the Facebook ones. Um, let me see. Yeah, you guys ask quite a lot of questions on um, on Facebook. Um, on Facebook which I need to find here we go right how did you decide what to call your bunnies well Nibbles um, Nibbles was adopted and she came with the name Nibbles so we had no choice uh, and basically we have a list of names um, like in the back of one of my journals and notebooks um, we have a list of names that we come across that we like every now and then and um, every time like, I come across a name on a TV program or I meet someone with a name that I like or John does we write it down because we've had a lot of animals because we adopt animals and they come to us at different ages and stuff um, you know we've had quite a lot of animals <laughs> and it's always difficult to know what to name them so yeah we just keep a running list of names we liked and when Florence and Luna came along um, because Luna was black we kind of felt like she needed the and she and she's quite a 
what's the word she's quite easy going quite steady plods along she we felt that she needed kind of like a like a more of like of a mystical sort of name and Luna was on um, one of the names that I really liked in our list um, we were either gonna call her Luna or we were gonna call her Morgana and we couldn't really decide <laughs> And so we settled for Luna, and then I end, they end up getting nicknames. Um, so then their full names end up becoming Luna Petunia Macaroon, just because it kind of rhymed and it went. Florence, A for her colour, and because she's a lot more upbeat and a lot more into everything, we felt that Florence just suited her, and then she became Florence Tinkerbell. So that's it. A question for John, when are we having our brownie bake-off? Ooh. Uh... I'll have to get John to do that. Okay, Rachel, do you think you'll get a new fur baby? I always want new fur babies. Um, always. But you've got to be realistic in terms of the housing setup and the time in which we can like dedicate to them. Um, Nibble, in terms of rabbits, Nibbles is getting on. She's eight-ish. eight, eight -ish. And I think it would be unfair to Nibbles to introduce another one at this late stage in her life she's got Florence and Luna that she loves um and so until and they are a handful <laughs> so until something happens maybe to Nibbles at th that stage no in terms of the guinea pigs at some point we would like to get introduce another guinea pig um Betty is getting older um so at some point we'd like to introduce, introduce another guinea pig so that when Betty does leave us Bay's already got a companion there but um, John wants to build an extension to their house so they've got more room before we do but I'm always oh if an if an adoption opportunity like presents itself and we're in the right time and place in order to give that animal a loving home then we will um, Hannah asks how did you guys meet at school um, we were we had a mutual friend um who i used to live next door to john went to infant school with him and i um used to go to his parties so we kind of knew each other from when we were like little like five but didn't really know each other and it wasn't until we were 11 and we went to school and we had some of the same classes together that we got to really know each other and then when we left school at 16 because um, we be, we became really good friends and we used to sit together in class and stuff and it wasn't until we left school at 16 that we realised that we missed seeing each other every day and we just started dating so we met at school do you have and she also asked do you have a top five favourite crafty goodies well I've probably already said that haven't I my essentials um, Anita asks um, when did you decide to make stationery boxes Etsy etc your full time job and what did you do before this so I kind of touched on that a bit so before then I used to work in HR I did a degree in um, sociology and HR management and I used to work in HR and then I did my postgraduate degree I'm a bit of a degree collector <laughs> did my postgrad degree um, sorry not, not, not degree my postgrad CIPD I didn't complete that though um, and I woke up one day, realised I absolutely hated working in HR, and an op and so I decided to go back to college and retrain. So I did a day release to college doing the photography. Um, so I did my um, HND in photography um, on a day release, and then I had the opportunity to take voluntary redundancy so I did and so in 2011 and so I did that and started working for myself doing the photography and stuff and then kind of like yeah the Brimbles boxes as I say that all kind of followed followed on um I had I did have the idea for doing the boxes and then someone else did the box and I was like okay they did it and then they stopped. Then I thought about doing it again. And then someone else did it. I don't know if you remember Leah. I used to do unboxing videos for Linkies for Leah. She's a lovely lady. And she's disappeared. And I don't know where she's gone. But she's such a lovely lady. And um, so she stopped doing it. And I got quite a lot of questions from people. Asking about them. And that's when I thought. Okay. 
if I don't do it, someone else is going to do it again. So that's when I decided to do it. Since then, loads of boxes have come up on the market, which is fine. I think there's business for everybody. And um, I'm not massively... I'm not massively... I always have real trouble asking people for money. Always have done. Um, and I just really enjoy doing it. I don't make anywhere near as much money as I could or should for the boxes because I like to try and make them um, good value and have lots of stuff in like as you know I charge £15 for them and most of the time they have a retail value of 20 usually works out to be about £22 Oops. so um, so yeah I'm kind of what was the question I've got off a tangent yeah has that answered it i think so like how did you decide and what did i do before <laughs> uh jennifer if you had to pick one and only one which is your all-time most favorite ever planner that's easy that's the malden um i was given the malden um as a present from someone and um i really like it because i love the layout of it like all the pockets and the zip and everything um and it's just a really good quality well-made planner so that is my favorite kelly what's your favorite sci-fi superhero franchise and what's your favorite character from it now i'm gonna have to confess i don't actually know what that means um does that mean like do you like star trek or avengers or something i'm not really sure because i'm not actually really into sci-fi i know i'm doing the geek box but that's because i found loads and loads of sci-fi stationery but i'm not actually really into sci-fi myself i do like watching the big bang theory though um kelly how do you structure your week as in business and home life you always seem very calm um <laughs> i i do actually have anxiety which um goes up and down depending on where I'm at in my life at the moment I did have a spike due to some of the YouTube thing that was going on um but it's kind of coming back down again um so sometimes I appear like a swan on the surface but underneath everything is going <laughs> like like that and so it can be um difficult sometimes um how do I structure I've I made the decision to split out my planners which is really working for me I have my home planner and my work planner and I kind of look at the two but it means that when I'm not working and I look at my like home planner I don't feel like I'm thinking about work all the time and yeah how do I structure that might need another video because I can't really think of a really quick and easy way to talk about it so I might do another video on that. I might need to think about that one. Patricia, how do you feel about you and John doing more recipe videos? Well, John does quite a few on his channel already. I am not opposed to the idea, but I've never really done recipe videos. I've only ever done like the what we eat videos, which I hit and miss. Not everyone likes them. So I'm not opposed to the idea. I would. I just have to think about like time and I can only do so much and what videos I can do. Naomi, we think you deserve a holiday abroad. Oh, thanks. <gasps> Somewhere hot, maybe. Brim's on tour. Where would you like to go? Uh, we've got loads of places we would like to go. Um, there are so many. Hot, somewhere hot, though. Um, somewhere hot back to Hawaii we went to Hawaii on honeymoon and um, I would really love to go back to Hawaii and do and do more exploring yeah definitely Hawaii uh, Anita what's your worst fear my worst fear is of not of getting not of dying but of becoming old and losing my faculties i the thought of being like because i've seen sort of old people you know when they're just they spend 10 years either bedridden or in a nursing home in a chair just watching the telly that's what i'm most scared of i would rather die at 70 healthy 
accident, bang, 70, gone, rather than live to 80, just sitting in a chair all day watching the telly, that scares me. Um, I know it's random, but yeah, that's what I'm scared of. Not of dying, but of having no life. Um, Heather, how many countries do your Brimble boxes travel to? I don't know. I know there's a couple of European countries. I know there's Australia and America. But I don't know. I don't actually keep a record of it. The... Um, the labels just like automatically get printed off and I stick them on the box um, quickly qu go through and see if any of them need a customs label and that's it so I've never actually written it down um, I would say I would say 10 or less uh, what's on my bucket list oh my god I've got loads of things on my bucket list um, I'll give you one thing on my bucket list because otherwise we'll be here forever. I would like to do something with animals like volunteer in a sanctuary or something like going to Nepal and scrubbing old elephants or something like that. I would really like to do something animals wise. Um, John would like to do stuff like that as well. We'd both like to kind of travel and do more stuff like that. And um, one day John would like to be able to work for himself, um, either work for himself or like me, like, or like us work together. Um, and who knows? Because like we could perhaps take the stationery on tour in a van or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'd like to do more travel and kind of um, like to do more work with animals. Um, Hayley, how is your Project Life album coming along? Really well, I'm enjoying it. I do keep meaning to make a video on my Project Life album. Um, I just haven't really had time to do a video. So I will I will try and do a video and I'll show you guys. Uh, Jill, will you be making any dashboards or stickers for the Happy Planner? No, because I don't have one. So I have no idea what the dimensions are like or anything like that. So no. Um, the, the Happy Planner doesn't actually appeal to me. I don't really like the idea of the disc, the discs, I don't know why. Um, so, sorry. Jenny, non-crafty planner question. What is, which is your favourite PLL character? No spoilers for those who haven't seen it yet. Right, so I got my new iPhone and um, with it Vodafone gave me a free year subscription to Netflix and I activated my subscription um, middle of October and I've been hooked on Pretty Little Liars since then uh, me and John have just been like gotta watch Pretty Little Liars we've just started season three and currently this may change obviously this may change currently as of the beginning of season three my favorite character has to be Hannah I love Hannah and I really fancy Caleb oh my god he's so cute oh he's gorgeous and I also like Ella Montgomery, Aria's mum. I think she's really cool. Currently. Who knows with that programme? You just don't know who anyone is. So it could change. Um, Lucy, would you ever think about doing recipes when you change when you change baking cakes and such for vegan? What is your favourite part of owning... Oh, okay, start the question. Uh, would you ever think about... I talk a lot. Lucy, would you ever think about doing recipes when you change baking cakes and such for vegan? Um, yeah, that's probably more John's area because I tend to follow, I do tweak recipes as I do, as I go, but I tend to very much follow a book and I, like, the cooking that I do is our meals. John is the one who does the naughty things like the cakes and things. So that is probably a question for him. But basically, when it comes to making a cake, he just change, he just substitutes um, banana for egg and um, dairy free like margarine um, for butter and that's it. Uh, what is your favorite part of owning your own business and would you change anything? My favorite part is also the part I sometimes don't like and that's talking to you guys. Um, I 
as I, as I say, it kind of happened by, by like default. I never set out to do this. It just kind of happened. And, but, um, so I've never really kind of been into a fan base or like a following and it blew my mind the other day when um, I saw I'd got 10,000 subscribers on face on YouTube I was like seriously um, I just do it because I like it and so I really like talking to you guys and having the community I really like now we've got the Facebook group and we can all share what we're doing with each other helping each other out and talking to each other I love that Equally, I don't love that sometimes because I don't have the time. Like a lot of you do email me and write to me and stuff, which is fantastic and I love that, but I just don't always have the time to reply. Well, I have the time, but if I had did, did do it, I'd burn myself out. Because like I say, I am addicted to pretty little liars at the moment, but I need downtime to recharge my batteries rather than sitting writing and stuff. Um, so I always feel really bad that I'm quite behind in replying to people. Um, and the problem is as well, is like these days you have to have every single social media, particularly if you have a business, because you have to kind of claim your name just in case someone claims it and posts like really bad stuff and people think it's you or whatever. <clears throat> but then that also means that people can contact you via all those social media platforms. So I love talking to you guys, just sometimes it's like, I, don't, I can't always get back to everyone and in a timely manner so it's kind of a good and a bad point but mainly it's a good point like talking to you guys that's what I like because when you work from from home and you don't necessarily see every those people during the day that's really nice uh, Tracy is visiting Australia on your bucket list it used to be um, because my aunt lived there but my aunt's now passed away and so yeah um I don't like I don't want to offend anyone <laughs> and don't shoot me here Australians but it's not top of my list top of my list is the Americas there is and Canada there is so much of the Americas that I want to see over Australia see don't shoot me don't shoot me don't shoot me I'm sorry but that that is it um may I don't know whether we'll ever get there um I don't know like if we ever will or not I don't know as you know we don't really take like like foreign holidays or anything so don't know if we'll ever ever get to Australia um we'd like to take more holidays um but yeah it hasn't really been possible the last few years um but maybe one day if i did ever come to australia i would let you know and then we could meet up and like do stuff um would you think of angela would you think of making a craft package with some instructions how to make things paper crafting i can say no because I don't really paper craft so I wouldn't really know um, what to put in it and what to do so I would probably leave that to someone who was more of a paper crafter and had more of an idea on these kind of things because I wouldn't really know where to start to be honest with you. Um, last Is this last question? Yeah. Rosanna, are you going to Winter Wonderland Centre Parks this year? No, we're not. Um, we're not going this year um we really enjoyed it though but no we're we're not going this year i need to stop talking and i was like i was gonna say something and then my mind went blank um yeah okay that's it I'm tired now i best check twitter i might i'd get i dread to think how long this video is so if you're still here then oh my god you're amazing um no tweets so it was just facebook and instagram but thank you everybody to ask ask me a question i do like doing q a videos they're fun to do and i enjoy doing them and i hope you enjoy watching them and if you're not already in the facebook group why not there's like 650 of us there now 
and it's Mrs Brimble's Happy Place so please come and check it out and people share photos and help each other like someone says where can I get this and someone quick as a flash says you can get it from here and someone says how do I do this and then someone says you can do it like this and so it's just really nice that everyone who's into planners and journals and project life and creativity stuff is just all talking to each other and it's just uber cool so we'll see you there Hurrah.